Hey guys, happy Monday. Becky Timms for The Drive at 5. And I just wanted to get on here and shoot this very quick video. I'm actually um, still at work. I Actually, I'm off work right now. It's about 6.15 at night. But it is pouring down rain and I wanted to jump on here and do The Drive at 5 before it... So I'm not sitting in my car in the dark because it's getting darker earlier. So I decided to just stand here in my office and do a drive at five for you guys. So for those of you that don't know me, my name's Becky Timms. I'm also known as the Amazon Queen, and I am the creator of Private Label Course. I um, wanted to talk to you today about some Amazon industry trends. I actually saw on um, C, I think it was like CNBC, um, just today where Amazon has something called iPay or Amazon Pay, sorry, not iPay. And you can start using your Amazon app to pay for food in restaurants. I know TGI, TGI Fridays is already doing this. And so um, that is something that's going to be an industry trend. And I wrote it down. I actually here in my, I have a yellow book now. I've completed the purple and the red, but I love my, my books. But, um, Industry trends in 2016, 33 million people used Amazon Pay, and it's just going to continue to increase and increase and increase. And so, guys, you may be wondering, you know, just I think last month or so, Amazon started having these lockers um, called Amazon Lockers, and they were putting them in like Kohl's and um, these apartment buildings all over the country, whereas if you didn't, if you had a P.O. box or if you lived in an apartment building and you didn't want your Amazon packages left outside, you could just get a locker and, you know, get a code and then your um, packages would be left securely in these lockers. And, you know, Amazon is getting into everything. They recently acquired Whole Foods, so you, everyone may be saying, well, God, you know, Amazon is becoming a monopoly, and I would have to agree with you. I mean, it is it is what it is, so um, you can either take advantage of it, like I'm doing, or you can sit back and watch this, um, this unfold. But you know, I remember when I was younger, and everyone was like, oh, Walmart's taking over, Walmart's everywhere, Walmart, Walmart, Walmart. Well, look what's happening to Walmart. Don't get me wrong, they're still a booming business, but Amazon definitely has cut into some of their profits with their business model and I'm also a Walmart seller and I will have to say selling on Amazon is light years ahead of Walmart they kind of missed the boat with their e-commerce platform I know they um, acquired Jet but they still are way behind the eight ball as far as a, a seller platform goes um, Another trend with Amazon, as of, I think it's November 1st, it is going to be a requirement that you have a two-step verification process to log on to Amazon. And I think this is a great idea because, you know, a couple of months ago, people were um, getting their money um, wired to other people's bank accounts because of hackers hacking into their um, Amazon account. And I'm talking big money, guys. You know, I've had the... Um, the deposits myself, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five thousand dollars every two weeks deposited into your checking account. And I mean, if you miss one of those, you could easily be hurting. And I know a lot of um, some of my very own Facebook friends had their account hacked. And of course, Amazon took care of it. But not only do you miss that, you know, fifty thousand dollars for that two weeks worth of sales, but you also miss that opportunity that you can't sell. So, um, you know, two weeks not selling on Amazon is a lot of lost revenue. Shoot, one day not selling on Amazon is a lot of lost revenue, depending on what you sell. So, um, I think the two-step verification process is awesome. Hey, to you, Marie, thanks for watching. Um, I actually have it on my account, and then I also um, have some clients that I can access their account. And super excited about one of my clients. Um, you know, she's having organic sales now. I just sent her a message um, earlier today, and I was like, I am super stoked about your private label product because one, it's getting organic sales. 
which is what you, is what we want, right? Um, you know, the goal is to get to 10 sales a day and then 15, then 20, et cetera, et cetera. But you want to reduce your um, pay -per -click, Amazon pay-per-click so that you can ultimately put more money in your, pro in your pocket. And so whenever you don't have to pay that pay-per-click and you're organically on the first page of Amazon, that is definitely the sweet spot because you're not paying any advertisement fees Hey Ann, thanks for joining. No advertisement fees, no um, pay-per-click fees, and you're just, you know, um, sowing the the fruit of your labor. So that's super exciting. Um, but anyway, even for those accounts that I access, I have to have two-step verification in um, place before November 1st. So yes, it's a little more aggravating. Yes, you'll have to have your cell phone by you, um, but basically you can log into the account and have a code sent to you. I know my, my one of my banks, I bank at several, but one of my banks, um, they actually have the two-step verification. I really hate it, you know, if I'm logging in from downstairs and I'm upstairs at home or vice versa, but I know it's for my protection. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to do a drive at five about UPC codes and I know I'm getting a lot of questions about, ah, oh, can I buy a UPC code? Do I have to pay, you know, $25 for a UPC code? And I will um, talk about that tomorrow on the drive at 5. So if you are a private label seller or you create bundles and you need UPC codes, don't fret. I will tell you exactly where to go and get them and to see if they're real. Okay, see you all tomorrow on The Drive at 5. I'm going to sneak out of here. Hopefully it's not raining as bad as it was when I jumped on here. But if you like this video, give me some hearts, likes, comments, shares. If you don't like it, that's okay. Give me some likes, comments, hearts, shares. And I hope to see you all tomorrow on The Drive at 5. Have an amazing day. Bye.